Hello, my name is Andrew Parker, aka Ibrica Andrew, aka Wolfella, aka Spider Man, and I have gotten a suggestion to watch Kostya Kimlot on Penn and Teller. They suggested that I watch his return to Penn and Teller, and I'm gonna watch that one because I'm not watching the first one. I could if y'all really want me to, but I've seen it before because I've, I've just watched it in my own time, and I also have gone to this magic camp in Philadelphia with, you know, world famous magicians come and, and, and teach and help uh, kids from like. 10 years old to 20 years old and it's just a, a, a week full of magic and it's really cool and kids from all around the world come and I went to that a couple times and the first year I was there this guy Kostya Kimlot came and I, I can't remember if he came in person or if he no he came in person I think or if he just sent a video and it was a big lecture and all the kids got to watch it and he explained what he did in the first Fool and Pellet fool us Penn and Teller act that he did. So if you go watch the first video that he did, um, I know how that's done now, it fooled Penn and Teller, and the only reason I know how it's done is because he taught all the kids at the camp. So I know this guy a little bit, and what he did in, in the last one, I'm not gonna tell you, but it's extremely difficult, and it's amazing and really, really cool. So anyways, um, I have not seen this, his return. Let's see if he fools them, should be interesting, should be awesome. Let's do it. This magician has been on Fool Us before, so let's meet him again for the first time. Kostya Kimlat, and I want you to think like a magician. Three years ago, I fooled the Penn and Teller. And I never expected them to react the way they did. I hate you. <laughs> I hate you. I remember that. Fool the big dumb guy. And Teller handled the cards, and he looked at it, and he thought about it, and you fooled him. Yeah, I mean. Um, I, I never would have figured it out unless he <laughs> explained it to years, I've been thinking, us. What can I possibly perform for Penn and Teller a second time? In magic, there's a method and an effect. The reason the guys got so angry is because I did an effect they knew using a method they didn't. This time, yes. I'm performing a trick that I created when I was 18 years old and I've been practicing ever since. So far, only two I'm 20. have fooled them twice. I'm hoping to make it lucky. Number three. He's fooled them twice? Did I miss something? Anyways, uh, 18. Oh, it's comic books. 18. This is gonna make me feel real bad about myself. and tell her, wow, it's amazing to be back here in Vegas. Allison, I'd love it if you come join me over here. Sure. I'm so happy that you're here. She's excited. Aww. Yeah, I hate you. I have you. to tell you that performing for these guys is one of the hardest things that a magician can do. Or me. Which is why yeah, I'm sure. probably never going to do it, just for FYI. Or for anyone else in the theater, there would be no stress. Also, I'm, I'm not near good enough. Have you pick a card. Okay. Anytime you like, just say stop. Stop. Remember that card. Okay. Yes. Okay. You got it. Yes. Got it. Okay. Because I don't know what Boom. it is. Okay. okay. But the moment that you say it out loud, your card will fly out of the deck, and I will catch it at my fingertips. Okay. It'll happen in just a blink of an eye. Are you ready? Yes. Allison, name your card. Six of clubs. Wow. The six of clubs. Pretty cool, right? Really? Yeah. Amazing. That's what I mean, right? Very cool. You're impressed. You're amazed. I'm having fun. Not a fooler. About, but these guys look. They're not fooled. <laughs> They're like, They know dude, exactly how my fingers whatever. manipulated the cards. They know where it was. They know how it flew out of the deck. If I'm going to fool these so guys with I. the same trick, I have to do more than just sleight of hand. I have to be clever. Ooh. Yes, I you have do. to be sneaky. Yes, you do. I might even have to lie just a little. <gasps> yeah. Or a lot. I know. Because that's so his job. I'm going to do the same trick for them. But, Penn, you remember what happened last time I was here? I do. Yeah, he picked up a chair. He, he... No, I don't think I can protect you very well. No, I need to <laughs> guard, please. Oh. Teller just sat there giggling last time, did nothing. <laughs> so how about this? You're going to stick with me, at least as my emotional support. Yes. Okay. And I'd love it if the gentleman could join us up here. Everyone, please welcome Penn and Teller to the stage. Oh. Allison, come on over. Great to see you, sir. What a savage. Come on, you rat bastard. <laughs> All right, let's see what he's got. Great to see you. So, let's get comfortable. Gentlemen, I'm gonna perform the same trick for you as I just did for Allison. I'm going to have you pick a card and then I will catch it at my fingertips. But I have to use a different method. Yeah. And I know that the moment I tell you that, your brain starts thinking of all the possibilities. <laughs> yes. This is so, so how right magicians now, work. Is burning my hands. That means he's watching my every move. Yes, we, sure we know what to watch. I switch this deck of cards for a different one, one with all the same cards. Penn, meanwhile, he's burning the cards. He's looking at the corners to make sure that I haven't cut any of them to make them easier to get. This is cool. He's going through like stuff that I they would think. the edges in order to make one card stand out from the others. These are all real maybe, things, by the way. Maybe I used glue on the edges of my fingers in order to make it easier to catch that card. 
That would be clever. Uh, I haven't heard of that one, yet. actually. I have magnets in my fingertips that allow me to capture that card. Yeah, maybe I do, maybe I do. Maybe I do. That's interesting. That's not for me to say. So all of these possibilities are there for you to consider. Maybe I'm telling you the truth and... Are those gonna come back into play? Why would he bring all those out? I feel like they're gonna come back into play. Maybe not. <laughs> so, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to shuffle these cards, but I won't push them in all the way, leaving some of these cards like something happened right there. out of my control. I'm also going to riffle slowly, so Penn knows I'm not influencing his choice with Jedi mind tricks. Penn, please say stop. Stop. These are, are not the here? droids you're looking for. One more. One more? How's that? Good. Teller, are you feeling good about all this? Sure, why not? Right now, very important. Before we go any further, look at look at Teller. Look how hard he is watching. Because the they lost last the time. He were fooled last time. Now you know how I feel. Yeah. <laughs> so are you satisfied? They are zoned in. Love it. Now, at this moment in time, there are multiple realities happening here on stage. See, Penn and Teller, they're focused on the method of the trick and trying to figure out... Are we talking about, about multiple about. reality... But you and the audience, you don't care about... Paradoxes method, now? So you get to experience the effect. Yeah. Right? The theories. The joy on her face, yeah. right? Yeah. Look at her, she's so excited. Now, That's awesome. Now, for you, the card shot out of the deck and I caught it at my fingertips. For you, gentlemen, my fingers are going to shoot into the deck and I will capture your card. Look at Teller. King of Spades. Your card. The King of Spades. He caught four. But that was still cool, obviously. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. I can understand why he wanted to hit Okay. I like how he set it up as. I like how he talked through all the different methods and how he showed a simple trick at the start that they obviously would know and then kind of like flipped it at the end. Everyone that comes on Fool Us is very clever. Another reason I won't be on there. You know, I just know I just had no life. I always played with cards. I always went my hand. I've always practicing. Same. Created it to fool magicians, but I showed it kind of underground. Didn't show it to too many people. And for three years now, I've been thinking what I can do to come back. And I thought this is it. This is it. Yeah. Oh, was it nerve wracking coming back? What do y'all think? Y'all think he's gonna fool him? I've been really looking forward to it. I've been looking forward to seeing Comment right now. and spending time with them on stage here. So this Unless you've seen it, don't cheat. Really excited about. And how is your life changed? Is that the deck of cards that he used? First gentleman. I really don't know. What do you think about this? Because um, if we do this bust on you, and if we're wrong, and if you fooled us again, I'm going to hurt you. <laughs> <laughs> Physical so, threats. That kind, you know that little thing you did with the glue stick and you did the little scissors. Yeah, they didn't come back into play. That. I'm telling you, we have a little list. I'll hit you in the head. <laughs> I'll, kick you in the ass. I'll knock you down. I'll trip you. Imagine those are laid out in front of you as I say this. <laughs> Pin is, you know, we've hung out with you. He's got his little script of what to say before he says it. I like it. Amazing stuff. And there's a Kind of a shortcut Teller and I use talking about juggling and magic. Because juggling, you say you're going to do something and you do it. And in magic, you say you're going to do something and you don't. We think, we know you can control a card anywhere. We know once I picked a card, you can put it wherever you want. We know you could put that card where you want. We kind of sort of watched you do it. And then, and this is the weirdest bust we've done. We think you actually did it. We don't think there was a trick. We think you knew the location of the card and you've been practicing since you were 18 because you reached in and grabbed the thing. We think you actually did what you said you were going to do. And therefore, although you blew our minds and amazed us, you did not fool us. We think you are that <laughs> So go ahead, tell me you're not that good. So you think that I've been locked up for 20 years practicing and that I could precision dribble and catch any card that I want from anywhere in the deck? Uh, kind of, sort of ish, yeah. <laughs> you're 100% right. Yo, yeah, that's so cool, okay. That's so cool. Okay, didn't fool them, but yo, what skill, dude. You know how hard that is? 
I could I can't even grab a card out of there like that. I tried to do it one time and I couldn't do it, much less grab a specific one. That's awesome. I like how Pin revealed that they knew it and was so complimentary of his skill and talent and how his skill and talent was just so mind-blowing and amazing. And yeah, yeah, that's like juggling. Like juggling, there's no trick. It's just a lot of skill, a lot of practice, just hours and hours of, you know, doing this and you say you're gonna do it and you do it. And magic, you say like, oh, I'm gonna find your card blindfolded, but you don't really. You, you, there's some trick that you, you've done some sleight of hand or whatever and then it looks like you find it blindfolded, but you already know where it is, something like that. And that, nope. You just snatched it. That's awesome. Let me know what you think about it in the comments down below. Let me know if you want me to react to something specific, uh, another magician or something like that in the comments down below. Carpe diem, we to Espona. Go have a great day. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. <laughs>